Hi, my name is Kwame Ose. I'm a teacher in SIU. I provide everything you could think of from the traditional academics, uh, math, English, science, uh, history. Uh, but the biggest thing I provide is a phys physical education course that has uh, kind of reeled inmates in to engage in education. Hopefully they learn something, but the biggest thing is just uh, building relationships with the inmates. Initially when I first started here and I would approach inmates about education, the, the typical response was usually uh, negative or uh, one of uh, just lack of interest. And I had, had to be adaptive in finding new ways to reel, the, reel them in and that's why we started this physical education course. It came a point in time where the principal of uh, this institution uh, approached me because I have a physical education background, I have a coaching background, and I'm a teacher too, right? So he just felt that this was the perfect environment for me because the goal of SIU is to get our inmates out and inter interact, have, have some uh, social interacting. Uh, countless guys come in and out and having uh, a positive, um, positive experiences with me, it's become uh, so a, a smoother, smoother transition and a smoother experience for a lot of guys. When the, my students are with me, they know that their time with me is valuable to me. And they understand that when they're with me, they can be human beings while they're with me. So, um, I'm a big believer in evolution. You know, at, at some point you gotta evolve and evolution requires change, right? So if you're not changing, you're not growing. And CSC decided to, to pivot, to change, and to grow, and now we have uh, a more uh, healthy environment with the SIU. I'm, I'm a byproduct of what happens when uh, you give somebody a chance. I'm a byproduct of what happens when you invest in troubled youth. You know, for me, football saved my life because I'm, I'm a former athlete, and football kind of distracted me from that. And I have a best friend I grew up with, and me and him are like this, like we're like two peas in a pod. Like, and like I said, football saved my life. And when I got involved in football, my life started to go here, and his life stayed down here. He, he decreased, and he ended up in jail at one point. But one thing I'll tell you about my best friend is that he did his time, he, he paid for his crime, but guess what? Now he's out in the real world, and he's a family man, and he has a legit job, and he hasn't been back yet. So he's living proof that guys can rehabilitate, but they need the right environment to help produce that. The reason why I'm here is to, to try to just build these guys up, build these guys up educationally, build, build a foundation for them to believe in themselves, to have some confidence. Everybody's different, every, every person goes through different feelings every day and, and it's up to us to um, approach them with our whole self and try to build them up and, and rehabilitate them so that they're ready for the real world.